And we are still feeling the effects of Tuesday's powerful storm system. Rivers are overflowing into nearby fields and also onto some local roads. That includes Dayton, Tip City, Huber Heights, Sydney and Piqua, where road closures made travel difficult. Two News reporter Seth Bird joins us from Dayton after talking with authorities about why you need to avoid roads that are underwater. No matter the type of vehicle, you should never drive across flooded roads like the one behind me. It puts you at risk and first responders. This was true on Parkwood Drive in Tip City around 620 Wednesday morning when a driver ignored the road close sign and got stuck in three foot deep water. Tip City Fire and Emergency Services responded and were able to save the motorist. No one was injured, but the car had to be left there until the water levels came down. Authorities say moving water is the most dangerous because it can move your vehicle in a different direction, sweep you off your feet, and cause problems even for skilled swimmers. It also does not matter the type of vehicle you drive. Tip City Fire and Emergency Services Chief Cameron Haller said it's best to find a different route in these situations. If a road close sign is up due to high water, please pay attention to that sign and find a different route to your destination. Throughout the day, there were a couple of roads that changed the commute for some, but authorities say that's better than putting yourself in a dangerous life-threatening situation. In Dayton, Seth Byrd, 2 News. All right, thank you, Seth. And as we continue to recognize the anniversary of the 1974 Xenia tornado, our own Storm Team 2 weather experts weighed in on the progress forecasting science has made since then. Current Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and Meteorologist Jamie Jarosik sat down with former Chief Meteorologist Carl Nichols for our 75th anniversary special. And at the time, we really didn't have radar. We didn't have satellite. If we did, it was very minimum set amount of radar. That uh, spurred the research and the development of Doppler radar. Mm -hmm. So yep. uh, that way we can see the rotation of the storms much better. And now we can see not only no. the reflectivity, but the velocity right. and anywhere on your cell phone. Yep. You, mm -hmm. you can yep. look at a radar yep. wherever you yep. are. Now this full interview along with all of our 75th anniversary content is available on WDTN right now. Brian joins us now and you can't help but just feel a little bit eerie talking about the anniversary of the uh, the tornado in Xenia and the bullet that we dodged yesterday with that severe system coming through. You know, almost uh, almost 50 years to the day yesterday we had severe weather and there were tornadoes over parts of Ohio last night just fortunately missed uh, the Miami Valley and also down into Kentucky and southeastern Indiana. But yeah, Carl was talking about the radar. Used to be we dial, you have to dial in to get the data. So this was back like in the 60s and 70s. <coughs> and me. of course, if something was going on on that radar site, everybody's trying to get into mm -hmm. it and, and you get a busy signal most of the time. So well, it's come a long way, certainly when it comes to forecasting. And today we're feeling a little bit colder out there. And all of a sudden it feels like winter after some spring weather yesterday. We were up around 70 today. Couldn't even get up to 50 degrees and some rain snow showers around tonight. Even a little sleet or some grapple mixed in at times uh, early this evening. And still some of that could be mixed in as we go into tonight too. Uh, we'll see mainly some rain showers on Thursday. Again, there could be a little bit of a winter mix there in the morning and then a chance, a slight chance of a sprinkler light rain shower on Friday. Otherwise, chilly conditions through Friday and then frost freezing temperatures likely Saturday morning, but we we do warm up over the weekend back up near 60 Sunday afternoon. 7 o'clock, 43 degrees, 41 at 9 p.m. with 38 at 11. We'll be looking at those rain showers around this evening and then some rain snow mixed in there uh, later on. And still there could be some sleet even this evening. We've been tracking some of that. 34 degrees at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, few rain and snow showers, a break in the precip probably around lunchtime and then more scattered showers later in the afternoon. Still some flood warnings on the Great Miami River up around Sydney and Shelby County down uh, east of Troy, extending uh, toward Riprap Road. So some high water uh, expected to go below flood stage tonight. And right now we're tracking some of that rain. Now where you're looking at yellow, usually that's a moderate to heavy rain. In this case, we're picking up some of that sleet. So some ice pellets in the uh, air. And then back to the west, we start to see a little blue mixed in with some of the radar uh, observations out there indicating that uh, the algorithm is uh, showing the potential for some snow over parts of uh, Illinois and Indiana. And definitely we're looking at snow surface reports of that up into Wisconsin, UP of Michigan, a lot of heavy snow over the past 24 hours. Now tonight we're actually seeing some snow painted by our uh, high resolution, high resolution snow model, uh, but any amounts here under a half inch 
inch because a lot of this is going to be melting because the air temperatures tonight won't even dip down to freezing. Breezy conditions tonight, those winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And uh, looking at the temperature forecast this evening, coming down through the 40s, mid 30s late tonight with high temperatures tomorrow, making it into the low to mid 40s north in the southern part of the Miami Valley, at least here in the Dayton area, up around 45 degrees. Those numbers tomorrow running about 15 to 20 degrees above, uh, below normal. And then highs on Friday expected to be in the mid to upper 40s. Raindrops on the camera lens on the Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems camera. Right now, 44 in Dayton, a west wind at 23. Wind chills in the 30s and our weather checkers tonight, a lot of 40s out there. Here's your forecast tonight. You're going to be looking at uh, some rain, snow showers, any accumulation under a half inch later tonight. Low 34, that'd be on the grass elevated surfaces. Mostly cloudy tomorrow, scattered rain showers, maybe a little snow. Sleep mixed in early in the day. And then on Friday, just a slight chance of a sprinkle. Freezing Saturday morning, high 55, mostly sunny, milder Sunday, slight chance of a late day shower. And some clouds, a little sunshine on Eclipse Day, slight chance of rain.